The Masala Mosque in Tehran. With a historic nuclear agreement seemingly in sight, can Iran and the United States turn the page on decades of hostility? While enmity towards the US is visible, it comes from a powerful minority. The chanting is brief and fails to rouse other worshippers. And as he exits the prayers, a man here scolds a street vendor for selling an anti-agreement magazine. The worshipper says even the leader is supporting the negotiations, to which the seller responds, I know, I am the servant of the leader, he is our master, before returning to selling his magazines with the cry, the mullahs who have agreed with the non-believers. If further evidence of the gap between rhetoric and reality was needed, it can be found at the former US embassy in Tehran. In the aftermath of the revolution in 1979, 52 US embassy staff were held for over a year by Iranian students. It's now a museum that denounces the US. There, the local guide, a member of the Basij, a hardline paramilitary force, says the revelation that the US spied on its allies has vindicated its hostility to the US. And certainly our relationship with the US will never become peaceful like two friendly countries because the US doesn't want it. Because the US interferes in our country, because the US even bugs these talks. The US bugs on 35 presidents in the world, including Ms. Merkel, the Brazilian president, the French president, presidents of other countries. How can we trust it? Outside, the walls are covered with anti-American murals, but people in the street can see the economic upside of reconciliation. If the US respects its commitment of lifting the sanctions, it will be a matter of time before our problem with America is solved. And so, in contemporary Tehran, there is anti-Americanism, but appetite for all things American appears greater.